I'm playing like uh, the, the development build from my play. Okay, I see what's crashing me. The Discord. I'm gonna close Discord because it keeps it keeps messing with my. So should I move? Even though you haven't moved? No, no, it's fine. Yeah, you can move. It's oh, kind of like move. cheating. We'll rematch it. Okay, if the game is still loud, uh, how about now, guys? I'll reduce the volume a little bit. And I'll move the microphone closer to me. All right. Better. Okay, let's move. Here, I reduce the volume even further. Okay, let me let me shoot you. Well, at least I got. At least I got lucky. All right, guys. So the thing is, yes, I am saving the VOD. The thing is, if I put a trap, the trick is that. Matt doesn't know where I spawn the trap until he steps into it, so nobody, nobody tell him. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll probably want to skip my turn. Alright, so I'm going to clo come close. And I'll try to lay a trap of my own at the same time. Alright, so now I know that it's not on the hex that I placed my trap. Mm, yeah. That much is true. So let's see. I'll Let's go. Oh my goodness! Another second attack. Yeah, I'm getting quite lucky here. Let's see if I can lure you into my traps. What? <laughs> there you go. Getting a pretty good start for the game. Alright, well, you're trapped. Managing to give some good damage, so... Like, your, your, your extra health uh, is pretty much useless right now. But now you can start... Oh, that's that hurt. The, the problem for you is that you skipped, or... Yeah, you kind of skipped a turn. Mm, I did, but now I can... I timed my traps pretty well. Let's see. Mm, so I can't walk around you because of the slow. Yeah. Let me see your. We do have a glitch here right now that my uh, my attack had like disappeared. Mm -hmm. I'm still gonna oh my to God. attack you. <laughs> I Wait, I can, can I make I, it around? I you? think I can pretty much win this one. There's like almost zero chance that you're winning this one. And I'm not gonna use that one yet. So you put a trap now. If I go behind you, I do extra damage. You knowing that probably put it to block me off, right? So I will not go around you. This time I will face you. Oh, okay. That was... Crap. Oh, that's a crit Ooh. hit right there. What was that? Shit. Critical hit. Man. Okay, that wasn't... That was not fun. That was not fun at all. Man, that critical hit was not good for me. <laughs> How many double attacks you did this time? Uh, this this um this a game lot. three three rounds. Yeah. So I also have a special ability that when I evade attacks, I return thirty percent of the damage. See if mm. you step into my trap. So <laughs> <Not here. laughs> pretty good with the trap placement. I think I win this one. Let's see. I mean, I would have to. Screw if you don't, if you don't uh, get a double attack, you sh you shouldn't. 
I'm gonna have to screw, up, screw this up pretty badly to, to not win this one. Okay, let's do Bloodlust. to death. Wait, let's see, um... And you can't really run towards me as easily because you... There's two obstacles. Oh, uh, weakness. I applied weakness on you. So, what weakness is, does is, um, you lose evasion and that block. I don't think it's gonna help you because there's two... Oh. Maybe it will. Ah, you block! <laughs> 4 HP! Shit. I no way! Oh, man. Oh god. Okay, something tells me that you put it. Yes, okay. Uh, I think I win now. I love. Wait. That was a 65? glitch. 65? How much did I have? 61 or something like that. Whoa, that was really close. Damn, I got okay, wrecked well. live. 1 nil. Okay, you get to pick the the character now. Tell okay, me. so I will go and then tell me which the which one you're going to get matched against. So the way this uh, preview kind of play works, guys, is that uh, whoever the challenger is picks and then the defender kind of gets automatically matched and Matt needs to tell me which character he's going to get matched against. And then I just jump into the battle with that character. All right. So what I'll do is, um, I'll go with the coconut man. Okay. Tell me who you're gonna get matched against. Archer. Which one? Th that the, one. The. The. Bamboo. Rognuk. Yeah. There's that one. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Someone says that they want to see how the game flow looks when we're like all concentrated and we're not commenting. We're still gonna like shit talk to each other. That's 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 a must. So the reason you were, you went first is because you have higher moves, right? Yeah. I really hate this long shot thing. Like, it's really hard to play against. Yeah, so the coconut man has a special ability. Every time I hit, I slow the enemy so he can't really move too far. It's very, very strong against assassins. Assassins move very, very quick. They're very strong close range. I evaded. I don't remember if you have any traps as your preset. Oh, you evaded as well. Man. Mm -hmm. the, the long shot thing that you did, the coconut, uh, the coconut guy, makes you slow. That's, yeah. It's a tough one. So this get behind cover. What's your passive ability? I forget. I get uh I return damage on every successful evasion. Well, I can't actually hit you because you're behind cover. So. Cave world, what looks better on the screenshots? <laughs> okay, one second. Let's see. 
What's your active ability? Your third ability? Uh, it's like plus damage minus armor. Makes no sense against you because you're already ranged. Okay, well, I, I, again, I can't actually hit you because All you're right. behind cover. Okay, world, what do you mean by full screen? So when I actually I did something really stupid, but yeah. Why didn't you hit me? Yeah, that's exactly what I was. I did something really stupid. Oh, there's another <laughs> one. Wait, what? You have every three turns. Yeah. Uh, round eight. Yeah. I put this trap like in the very beginning of the round. Uh, King Uga. So every single ability has um, has a cooldown. So. Right now, this is simulating like a very early build of the game, so this is like a level 15 character. So right now, I can only have three abilities equipped. Uh, higher level players can have up to like eight abilities equipped, which is like seven main and then one extra. So technically, um, the higher you level up, the more of those special abil abilities you have. Right now, I have like a passive one, so when I evade something, uh, I return 30% of damage. Um, then I have Bloodlust, which basically, it's not really useful here because he can hit me from afar, but basically I um, enter like a special mode where I uh, cause more damage, but I take more damage. This is good if I'm like at a distance from someone. Um, and then I have the Trap, right? But in the, in the full game, um, if you're playing a quite high level character build, you can actually equip seven to eight different special abilities. And not all of them are traps. There's bombs, there's uh, doppelgangers, there's a lot of different kind of things. So then uh, the ability has a cooldown, right? So this one has a uh, one turn left until I can use it. And then there's uh, unlimited usage, right? But not every ability is the same. So abilities are NFTs as well. So you get ability, uh, ability, uh, certain abilities that are dropped onto you when playing the game. Can you showcase? Uh, I think I'm gonna die. Can you see the reduction of your movement speed when you check your yeah. stats? Yeah, yeah. So right now I have a slow effect applied on me from, from one of his attacks. If you expand, uh, it's uh, your turn. Press on the arrow. All right. So. And then, so like right now I'm playing the same build plate that I played earlier. I'm gonna switch builds in a moment. And this build mi basically mitigates whoever comes closer to him because he's uh, equipped a trap. Okay, what the heck, let's just use Bloodlust. It's your turn. It's a little bit counterintuitive to use Bloodlust as your turn ends. Yep, I'm dead. So it's 1-1. One, one. So now I'll pick the character and I think the third one will decide who's the winner of this little... Let's do it! What does the winner get? That's what I want to know. Keep in mind that like uh, these battles are designed to be less than 10 minutes. And uh, uh, <coughs> here you can just like easily pick a build, right? But in the actual uh, in the actual game you'll have to hustle pretty bad for builds like this because like these builds have a full set of armor they already have three unlocked abilities and yeah you can like unlock up to eight abilities but <laughs> winner stays on who's up next um i think geos is up next <laughs> where's geos can we invite geos just for the 
think I'll play an assassin this time. Or a warrior. I think with a warrior is, yeah, I'll play an assassin. Let's see which one I'm matched against. Oh, <laughs> I just landed into somebody else's game. I kicked someone out from the server. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well, let's play the game. So, guys, we have this setup where... Um, we have this setup where we're actually uh, playtesting the server on this server, right? So we have these predefined usernames, and whenever one of the playtesters just uh, lands into somebody else's game, they basically steal the game from them. So we right now are facing like one of our developer teams, which I think would be silly. So I guess I'll quit the game and I'll just restart because I don't want to ruin somebody's play, um, somebody's testing session. That would be kind of lame. Uh, So style, uh, the why do the characters face away from their opponent after a move? This is actually a good question. So we actually are working right now on a gesture, which uh, allows you to decide both the direction that you're facing and um, uh, and the actual uh, move that you're making. So like one of the reasons we're not opening this to early access yet is because there's a couple of important things that we're still adding in the next few days. So one of them is going to be obviously like the directions of movement. So actually, if you if you take damage from your back, you get uh, extra damage taken. And if you um, uh, if you take damage from the sides, you get extra damage. So there's actually a mechanic where you can stand with your back to an obstacle. And if you stand with your back to an obstacle, um, you end up taking less damage. So that's that's a mechanic that we're actively working on. So that's to Styles' question, like why did so right now you don't entirely control which way the character faces. This is a gesture that we're uh, working on. There's also a lot of like you you're literally seeing like an alpha test build, right? By the way, Matt, you're the you can join in as like the green archer. Okay. Rodelick. So, yeah, so another thing that's that's something that we're planning to fix before we actually open up the game for early access is that like I have a pretty good idea of the um, the various abilities that I can use, right? But it's a bit harder for me to to verify which abilities is the enemy using. Okay, so and things like this, for example, we just added a feature where you can see on the on the ground as you. If you were paying attention, I was like actively checking what are the chances of him hitting me. So this is uh, something we've just added today or yesterday. So there's like rapidly uh, new features being added. So the thing is, I want to run to him, but I don't want him to hit me. So I'm kind of like taking those shelters as I run. Alright, so let's do this. So for example here, right? Like here it's not really important where I stand. But Okay, now now I should be a little bit careful, let's see. Minus twenty-five evasion and for two turns it's too early for me to do that. Okay, let's just run towards you I guess get one more hit so this is something we're working on right now like he applied bloodlust right so right now I don't exactly know what bloodlust is so we're, we're working on like exposing that through the user interface okay now it's time to apply weakness so I'm actually reducing your evasion Oh, but I can. 
Oh, crap. Yes. <laughs> now, the thing the thing that you can do currently is we have a drop down menu. Oh, I just skipped my turn accidentally. So you can actually check my live stats, what I have buffed and what I have debuffed on me. Yeah. You could show the the viewers that, Danny. Yeah. No, so you, you can see right now, these are like the different stats that are brought together from uh, from the items in culmination with the general basic stats. So a lot of it um, works. So I'm actually here. I'm going to give a little uh, cover of these. So like, you can, you can hit me while I do this, I guess. Uh, here, I'm going to move. Skip my turn. So, uh, so s s all of these matter because, like, a lot of the game has to do with what is your build as you get into the game. And uh, oh, you just place a trap on my trap. That's a mechanic we could have shown. So, um, for example, uh, attack speed determines both who starts the turn first and also who uh, gets to attack first. Um, but also it determines your likelihood to get a second chance. So whenever you guys saw like a second chance attack, uh, that second chance attack usually comes from me having higher high, uh, attack speed. There's also um, stuff like block chance. So block chance is uh, a chance for me to block, but I never block completely, right? Then there's a separate mechanic around evasion. So evasion, for example, he has 35 and I have 17. So he is much more likely to evade an attack than I am. So there's all, stuff, all sorts of stuff like this and the items that you see in game, they're basically uh, going to influence a lot of the uh, playthrough. Um, a lot of these semi-random things, they actually have a lot to do with the stats. So you're encouraged to, to amass the various uh, items that increase increase those stats. Also, item sets uh, provide that you put the set together. They have all sorts of effects. So essentially, your job will be putting together mm. your stats correctly that align mm. with your build. Yeah, I, I, we get some. We get all sorts of bonuses from having a complete set. Yeah, I am controlling the camera angles. So like. I can do this, I can do this. Some people prefer like a more strategic game like that. Like they won't want to be really high up. So because I'm a melee build, I need to keep running after him to hit him. I can't attack him unless I'm like right next to him. It's really, really cool, the camera angle on a touch um, platform, like anything, like a phone yeah. or tablet. So, yeah, one thing that we want to uh, do before we release the early build for you guys is like really expand on all those things. So a lot of what you see right now is just like really bare bones. So this is what's going to happen in the next week or so. Um, like we want to make it obvious to you, like, okay, there's a damage multiplier. Uh, but what item did it come from? Like, why does it exist? Which abilities is the other guy uh, equipping? It's really gonna make the game a lot more interesting because you actually know why stuff is happening. Uh, do I find it a lot better on tablet than phone? Um, no. I mean, it's fun to see this. So like, the graphics, might look a little bit underwhelming on for like a PC only game because everything here is optimized for mobile as well, right? So like if it was a PC only game, like a we could ramp up the graphics significantly. Uh, but it's really fun to see like <laughs> I stepped into your trap. It's really fun to see the this like full on 3D on a tablet. I really find it all the time like super engaging. Well, I, I kind of got lost in explanations, and that's what happens. And keep in keep in mind that we've tested this on like my OnePlus Seven Pro, which is like, yeah, granted, it's like a semi flagship from two thousand nineteen, uh, and we got really good FPS on on this. I've personally tested this 
on my 2016 phone works fine what else let's see if i can i'll, I'll get like a, a warrior build Cave world, uh, cave underscore world. Uh, yes, there is a mobile. This is the mobile. So the game is cross-platform mobile and PC. So this is essentially the same graphics uh, minus a few small details. Like there's a couple of shaders that look a little better on the desktop, but this is the same experience you're gonna be getting on the mobile as well. Um, are you part of our community? Uh, because I don't know who you are from the nickname. Oh, is this Pedro? That's super funny. <laughs> I thought this yeah, was like a new member. <laughs> oh, it's not Pedro. Uh, imposter! Yeah, so basically, essentially, this is the same, the same experience you're getting on the mobile. In fact, this is, right now, what you're seeing is like the mobile optimized uh, kind of UI. So a lot of the buttons, the way they are, because they work for the mobile. Oh shit, I'm playing against the coconut guy. I'm going to lose. So, on when Just... we're making the pre-builds, we've made the coconut guy a, a bit way too effective against the warrior. <laughs> oh crap. There's very little chance to win with the warrior against the coconut guy. Okay, uh, cave world. Uh... DMs where? I have DMs in a lot of places. <laughs> okay, let's see. I, I have almost no chance against the coconut guy. Guys, the coconut guy has this annoying ability where he has a high chance to permanently nerf my movement speed. And then I practically can't chase him on this arena. Like, if he does this to me right now, I'm screwed. It's Pedro, not an imposter. Remember, when we were showing off the game at uh, Games Day, we had like a thing, a, a sign saying, if you beat a dev, you get $69. So I went through like, um, there were five guests that came around and none of them beat me. And then suddenly someone picks the coconut guy and I get the warrior. Legit, nothing I could do, the guy beat me. <laughs> that was yeah. free $69. Half of the $69 wins. So let's see what abilities I have. Sacrifice 100 HP to gain 25% damage. Obviously I'm gonna use it if I can finally make it to you. Um... Yeah, what happened with Pedro not having a blue mark? Do you guys see the jumping guy in the back? He was rooting for the other guy. Shit, okay, well now it's started. The coconut guy just completely nerfed my movement speed. So there's like no freaking way I need to move behind this. I'm gonna use this rock as my shelter. Crap, okay. All right, so, let's see, beehive bomb, throw a beehive bomb with a hex. A little bit of a technical there. question. Um, the NPCs that are cheering for us, the cavemen, are we seeing the same animations at the same time, or are they random from me and you? They're randomized between like, they each, actually each caveman has someone they cheer for. Okay, well you didn't see this one. Okay, this is a new mechanic, guys. Um, these are bombs, and you're gonna see what they do in a moment. So, and I wanna get further away when they explode. So, am I supposed to see the bomb? Oh. Okay. Now you see it. I, I was able to see it throughout. Mm -hmm. So, about seeing other fights as NPCs on the side. Oh, Pedro, finally you have your name back. Um, okay, now you're done for. Okay, shape shift. Plus 25% damage. Oh, well, I did absorb quite a lot of damage, but. So you will be able to see uh, uh, other games. We, we're planning like a replay mode. So when you had like a really successful battle or a really close one, or like you really thought that you won a really narrow match, we're going to have the ability to replay it. And we're thinking that when you replay it, you can just like fly around and 
explore the arena a little bit as you know the guys are fighting. Okay, let me hide behind the rock again. No, I can't actually hit you. Let's see if this thing works. Yeah, so for example, style, right right here when he hit me, I shouldn't have been standing with my back. So that's that's something where... Oof, I swear oh, I'm lucky. Yeah, that's not nice. Hmm. Oh, I misclicked. Did you just click skip turn? I did. Man, I you, evaded again. Dude, you with your evasions. What is what is even going on? If you evade one more attack, I swear. Okay. Yeah, this one is a closer battle. I actually thought I'm gonna be dead by now. Let's see what you do. Oh shit. I will be s willing to bet that you placed the trap right there. So that's exactly where I'm not gonna go. And good luck with the beehive bomb. You do have insane regeneration, so if you could make your way behind the rock. Yeah, well, that, I mean this. There you oh. go. Well, yeah, I wonder why he wanted me to go behind her box. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Dr. Teeth, these are level 15s. Any idea of how quickly do we level up? So, that's something the mage will probably be best positioned to answer because uh, the exact speed and time that it takes you to level up uh, is probably best answered by the mage. Oh man. I'm so close. Okay, let's do this. Move close to you. Oh man! Oh, you with your traps. Okay, shape, shape shift. I think I can finish you off with like one hit. Oh man. <laughs> Man, uh, I hate this evasion skill you have. This is insane. I I was about to win. I really was about... No. No. I think you could have one-shotted me pretty easily. Shit. Shit. Okay, well... Uh, the only chance I have is if I get some regeneration behind the rock. I'm so dead. That's it. Uh, in the second shot as well. You don't need. Oh, you do. Oh, that's it. Wait, I'm you dead. blocked? Yeah. <laughs> this is very close. I almost won. Almost winning against the coconut guy is is an achievement. It is an achievement. All right, guys. I think that's it. I mean, we were we wanted to do this a really quick, spontaneous uh, stream just to show you guys some uh, some mechanics and stuff. So maybe this is a good time for like questions and answers. Like any questions you have. Exactly, just a quickie. So uh, let's do like a few minutes of questions. Like anybody with any questions, want, you guys want answered, we'll. I'm reading the chat on on uh, Twitch. <laughs> Better has when. Okay, when. Um, so for the early access for you guys, uh, when is um, we have it's more in terms of features that we really want you to have rather than time because the features are like the thing that drives the when. 
Um, so we absolutely must iron out some bugs. Like you probably noticed there's some bugs here and there. Uh, we absolutely must make it more, like bring out a lot more of the special abilities to the surface where we know a lot of playthrough secrets because we designed the game. So I knew like that I need to attack from behind. I knew that like what each ability means. We really need you to have a better idea of what they mean. Uh, and um, another thing that drives the when is uh, the ability to... So right now, as you notice, look, we have this test server where we have two of each build. So we have like two assassins, two rangers, and two warriors. Uh, the way that the early access is going to look like is we're actually going to let you... Um, for the first few weeks of the early access, we're going to let you guys create... A bunch of builds within like a certain level regime so like you're gonna be able to kind of like make my own build and you're gonna be able to play it and then you're gonna be able to scrap it and make another build and you're gonna be able to do that as part of like an early testing thing so this ties into Maester's question the abilities as NFTs so everything um, that we have is going to be integrated into fusion I'm gonna put my Metaplex hat now because that's that's where I start talking about Metaplex stuff. Let's see, it doesn't fit because I have my headphones on. Here, my Metaplex hat. <laughs> so, my Metaplex hat. Anyway, so um, everything that you see is uh, is an NFT. So that includes the stats. That includes the uh, the armors. That includes the very class of your character. And that also includes um, the special abilities that you bring with you to the battle. So our uh, objective is to release by the end of this month. Objective, guys. <laughs> don't kill me if we don't make it. The objective is to release by the end of this month an early access program where you guys can start testing the various different builds. Um, and then uh, with those builds, uh, you can like help us balance the game. Um, so, uh, how does stats in NFT work? So the way that fusion works in general, uh, as I shown, I've shown on the, uh, Metaplex stage is that you won't see like an individual stat in your wallet. You'll see your character profile in the wallet. Um, the stat as an NFT is going to be managed by our game UI. So behind the scenes, what's happening is that your game profile caveman is going to have kind of like a escrow storage account and under that storage account all of your stats and everything is there so if, let's say if you've ever if you're ever gonna sell your uh, caveman profile or if you just want to put your whole entire caveman profile on cold storage you can do that and the the main nft is going to basically be the one that you see in your phantom uh so uh, is it for each caveman? Yes, for each caveman there will be an associated gaming profile. Um, as a, one of the next steps is, uh, we're planning to, because there's special things that only the caveman holders have, right? So anybody will be able to like mint a game profile, but nobody will be able to access the features that are unique to the NFT holders. So uh, we are talking actively to all sorts of like rental uh companies like not companies projects that have rental uh, nft features to basically give the ability for you guys to rent out the nft that you hold and uh, we're still exploring how that will work and kind of like what the systems and the mechanics are behind it but uh yeah so early access goal is in the next couple of weeks any more uh Questions, anything, stats, when, I think I answered the when. I, again, I'm just like doing the disclaimer. Um, the, the when will be in the end, depending on the features. Um, so the features are the things that are, are, are the driving factor behind the when. If it's gonna take us a little more than a couple of weeks to iron out those features that we think are like entry level features for you to be able to actually enjoy the game, um, then we'll take a little more time. But 
once those things are ready, you guys can start doing early testing. And then uh, one important thing that I didn't notice. Oh, there was a lag. Yeah, one, one important thing that I didn't explain is uh, the, um, the early access is going to culminate, like end with a tournament. So there's going to be like all sorts of uh, uh, prizes and uh, like a grand prize for the tournament uh, between the early holders and the early testers. And as far as the search, the search is already being actively worked on. So it's like resuming effective immediately. While we're at the conference, the day after tomorrow or tomorrow, uh, our team is actively working on the search. So expect news about it uh, any day now. Matt, you want to play one last uh, match, I guess, for good old sake, good old time's sake? You, you get to pick the build now. Okay, let me load it up. It'll be fun if both of us go assassins. Okay, I'm gonna select. <laughs> I just joined someone else's game. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You can shut it down and then just come back. Yeah, this is, by the way, one of the when things, right? Like, right now we have a hard-coded amount of wallets in the system and we're kind of... You're able to just log in as someone. We did it so that the team can easily test the game, but... <laughs> Whenever someone logs in, they can actually log in and kick someone else from a game. Uh, King Muga, yes, the conference is going to be similar to the one in Lisbon. We're going to have a booth, and in that booth, we're going to present the game. The conference is like an esports conference with like gamers' focus. So we're actually going to do a tournament, and the winner of the tournament is going to get a brand new PlayStation Five. Oh god, I loaded up again. That same one. One second. Let me just just pick another load. I mean, another build. So, uh, yeah, if we have any Turkish members, you guys should totally go because like the grand prize is a brand new PlayStation Five. You've got the coconut guy. I have the coconut guy. Mhm. Mm okay. Does that mean that I get to own you? Well. It would be really... Um, oh, wait. I, I'm supposed to be a counter to you, so that means... Yeah, this should, be, should, a pretty, have... should be a pretty close match. But... The obstacles are pretty well located. Do you have a shot on me? Mm, not yet, but I will. Here. Now I do. Oh, I see. <laughs> you Ooh. get a second attack as well. Oof, this hurts. Um, let's do this. Hmm. Let's see. It's good you don't have a shot on me. You got really lucky with those obstacles. Man, I All still I don't have do a shot on you. Is close the distance now. Oh, you've placed the trap, right? I don't know. <laughs> Did I? There was an animation. So I've already placed a, a blinding trap, so I know where you don't have the trap. Now it's I know here. that you have another trap. Hmm. Let's do this. 
Oh man, you didn't step in my trap. Uh, King Uga, no, you can't be damaged by your own traps, but you can be damaged by your own bombs. So if you throw a bomb like the other player that I was throwing, uh, like a beehive bomb or whatever, you can actually get damage from your own bomb. But traps are made in such a way that, like, they're supposed to be sneaky. So if I'm standing on my own trap, oh man, I critical you. hit and double attack. You're crazy. I think I'm dead. Let's see. I should not be playing the $69 challenge. We're gonna lose the whole... <laughs> yes. Oh. Hmm. Ooga booga. Okay, well I know you put, you put a trap somewhere. It's either here or here. Um, uh, I wonder, can the viewers hear the music? Can you stream? I think they should be, ooh, man. I just got blinded. Your invasion is non-existent at this point. Your block is also almost non-existent. Armor is down. I should be able to one-shot you. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do I lose? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. I don't know if I can catch you. This is really bad. Mm, I only need one critical hit or like one lucky shot. Oh man, no, 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 no. Oh! <laughs> That's it, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I blocked! Shit, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, uh, no, from behind, come on. Yeah, that was close though. What? Evasion. <laughs> Holy shit. I was despair. Okay, that was Whoa. really unexpected. <laughs> oh <laughs> that was a good God. battle. That was a good one. <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, this is like uh, what happens when you... Uh, when you have a pretty successful battle, like the, the fun ones are always the close ones. Uh, our victory animations far off. Let's show you guys some goodies. Because every single stream has to have goodies. Um, let's see, let's show you guys some animation tasks because you guys are awesome. And... Let's see. Uh, let's see uh, where here victory. So let me let me show you guys. So for example, this is ooh, this this is one animation that is like a victory taunt. So the guy's gonna like jump like this in victory and the camera's gonna turn around him. And then let's see, there's like just regular standing. Uh, so this is like one variation of a victory. And then there is um, a lot of, we're, we're doing a lot of death animations. So for example, this is one uh, animation where instead of falling on the floor, he just sits in complete and utter defeat. And he's really sad. Uh, let's see, what else do we have for death? This is another one. This is like, hey, don't hit me. Don't hit me anymore. Don't hit me, bro. Like this. So we, we will have a bunch of those. Um, so those are in the pipeline, uh, and then for like crowd and stuff, for instance, right? So, um, this is like whenever something happens. So these are the guys that are cheering for you from the stage. So when some successful attack happens, we'll have these guys doing this. There's a bunch more. There's like idle 
This is just someone sitting. So what else can I show you? Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of animations that we're adding. Um, death, victory, there's gonna be a lot of different uh, emotes and taunts and stuff. So that's, that's those. We also have, which we I didn't include in this build that we're seeing right now, but since you guys are so cool, I'm also gonna show you this. Um, we're also working on some cute little illustrations. So like when you lose, uh, you're going to see like an illustration like this on the UI that like that you lost and then there's going to be variations of those and for like whenever you win let's see um, uh, where is the one that you win in as you can see, we have a lot of stuff here. Um, yeah, by the way, guys, this is like how an active development linear looks like. <laughs> a lot of different things happening. Um, wait, so... Why am I suddenly lost? Here, illustration for you we did the lose one then we we're doing the so this is like a <laughs> did someone just read Easter Bunny set oh no they're seeing the new sets that we didn't release yet so this is like one example of uh, a win uh, kind of illustrations we're gonna have a few uh, illustrations like that uh, Easter Bunny set Well, it's not started yet, so you guys are not going to get to see it. So, what else can I show you? <laughs> um, Alright guys, I think I've shown enough. Uh, loser does a shoey. I don't think we have a loser map, right? Like you won one, I won one, then you won one, now I won one again. You want to do a last, last round? I don't. Are you guys bored? Like, do we do we have, do I have time for another round? Hmm. I think let's be mean. Let's let's keep the rounds for later. All right, guys. Any more questions? I'd love to answer them. By the way, thank, thank you guys for joining. I mean, it's some randomly bizarre hour without any notice. How do you guys like it? This would be, this was a very vulnerable experience. We showed you guys uh, for the first time. Twitch the light. Uh, the setting is disabled on this build. Uh, we're, we're controlling all the settings manually for now. Doctor uh, Pete says it looks awesome. Let's, Let's get, get it in our hands. Our hands. <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> Soon. Uh, I believe there's already rumors, Danny, that you've said end of month is worst case scenario. Oh, I never is that, said... Is that true? I never said worst case scenario, no. Well, you're getting me in trouble here. All right, guys. Well, any more questions? And then, like, I think we'll wrap the stream up. And then I'll be posting a version of the stream. Probably edit some, some of the too much talking parts and stuff. But would love to answer any any other questions that anybody has, and then 
I think we'll wrap this up. It's almost 2 a.m. here. This was completely spontaneous. When next stream? I think next stream is going to be to show off uh, the updates that I was talking about. So like a better, better UI. And then uh, the character selection stream. Actually, the character selection stream we're probably going to be streaming with Metaplex for Metaplex. So like this merch, you're going to be seeing it a lot. Metaplex. I'm a big fan. These guys are awesome, by the way. You guys have no idea the team over at Metaplex. They're like decent human beings. Um, I think that uh, some of our favorite teams in, in Lisbon, uh, the guys from Metaplex, so we'll be integrating very deeply with them. We're going to be using the Fusion contract. So I think the next stream is going to be showing off the Fusion contract. All right, bros. I think we're done for today. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great evening, everyone. Good night, good morning, wherever you are. We love you. And thank you for joining us for the stream.